Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm showing you how to do part two of how to make your own YouTube channel app with Objective-C in Xcode. Today we will be learning how to actually get the JSON data from a website. And next time in my next tutorial on part three, I will show you how to actually implement those things that you grab from the JSON data and implement that inside of your app. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. First, let's open up our slide out menu files that we created. So this is our project files that we created in part one. And make sure you open it with your XC workspace that you created. So make sure it is slide out menu .xc workspace or whatever name .xp workspace. Now go ahead and be sure to open it by that or else you'll get a bunch of errors and something to and it won't work. All right, so go ahead, open it by that. And we want to go into our YouTube table view controller .m file. And first of all, we want to import our AF networking .h file that we created in part one. So now to explain what that is, let's go ahead and in our pods, you will see this file system right down here and right down here we have pods. So this is what is embedded inside of this project that we have up here. And this is our AF networking files. So our AF networking files are basically something that was created by another user and then we can put that into our app and utilize it inside of our app so we can grab data, put it inside of our app and actually get stuff from the internet and use JSON data inside of our app. So let's go ahead and get started with this. All right. So first we want to import again the AF networking files that we had. So say hashtag import and then say open quotation mark AF networking and some sometimes it doesn't fill it in for you sometimes it does but just make sure it's typed exactly the way that AF networking .h is spelled right down in our pods so go right down here and make sure it's spelled exactly like that but first we actually want to say AF networking forward slash and then you want to say AF networking dot h and then close it off with quotation mark all right, now let's go into our YouTube table view controller .h. And first thing we want to do is create an NS dictionary. And this will actually be where the JSON is held. And then we actually need to parse that into an NS array, which we're going to create in just a minute. So say at property, open parentheses, then say weak, non-atomic. And we want to say NS dictionary, asterisk, and we're just going to call this YouTube JSON and then close it and then close it with a semicolon. All right. Now we want to say app property, open parentheses, weak, non-atomic, and we want to say NS mutable array. NS array does not work as pro does not work properly in our data. So make sure it's NS mutable array. All right. Now say asterisk and we're just going to call this YouTube array like so and then end it with a semicolon all right and lastly we want to create another property and this will be an id which i will explain later but it's going to be utilized in our code so say at property open parentheses weak non-atomic and say id response object object like so and then end it end the semicolon all right now let's go ahead and go into our youtube table view controller m file and now we're going to actually put utilize whatever we had right here and grab our json data all right now let's say first we want to create a dash void so say dash open parentheses void like so and then we want to name this whatever we want. I'm going to call mine reload data, but again, you can name it whatever you want. So reload data and then end it with a semicolon. All right. Actually, don't end it with a semicolon. Sorry. Actually, you want to say open curly, open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket. Sorry about that. All right. Now let's go ahead and say AF HTTP request operation manager asterisk manager now what this is doing it's actually calling 
this is the manager that's going to be grabbing all the JSON data. So this is going to manage all the JSON data that it grabs from a specific website that we're going to specify in just a minute. So say AF HTTP request operation manager asterisk manager equals square bracket open square bracket AF HTTP request operation manager manager exactly like that and end it with a semicolon. And then right down here, we want to say open open square bracket manager, and then say capital G E T. Then it'll already fill all this in for you. So say G E T. So this is going to be the URL that we actually grab our our JSON data from. So make sure to say say open square bracket N S string string with format, and say at open close quotation mark and inside of those quotation marks I have a URL so we're actually just going to copy and paste that right inside of there and I will explain exactly what it is in just a minute and actually uh, that is a mistake let me change that and then I will explain all right so right down here we see we want HTTPS oh, uh, I'm sorry HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash gdata.youtube.com forward slash feeds forward slash API forward slash users forward slash and then right over here is actually our YouTube URL name so let's go ahead and I'm just gonna open up my Safari browser real quick and just go to youtube.com and I'm just gonna open up my website so youtube.com slash users slash architect. So you want to make sure you have exactly what this is here. So what this right here is, is say for any user, they always have a specific URL name. So this is, we'll load up Marquez MKBHD right here. So Marquez Brown Lee. And this will actually load up his URL. So basically we are grabbing specific specific URLs and this is the username that we are grabbing from. So this is YouTube's API that they already have built into YouTube that you can grab and put into your app like so. So right over here say HTTPS colon I already specified all this actually so let's go ahead and say API forward slash users forward slash and again this is the user that we're trying to grab the data from so again you can say Marquez Brown Lee or anything like that and then say forward slash uploads quote, um, question mark v equals two so this is the version number that we are using so we are using version two of g data and then say ampersand alt equals json c so make sure you have it typed in exactly like i have it in here or you can change the user if you want but just make sure that it's whatever is in their url not whatever their name is on here all right, now let's go ahead and continue. Now parameters, we want to set this to nil. And success, we want to say exactly what it says right here. We could just, if you could just like tab that in, that would be great. But basically you just want to say open up arrow, open parentheses, AF HTTP request operation, asterisk operation, and then say comma ID response object and then close it up and then actually right after this parentheses right here you want to say open curly bracket enter close the curly bracket like so and then we will continue on with our code in just a minute so let me just explain exactly what we're doing here. So as you can remember, this is the response object that we created in our YouTube table view controller .h file right here. So right here you say app property ID response object. So just make sure it's the exact same thing as what you created in your YouTube table view controller .h file. All right, so this is exactly what we're doing. And then right over here, we're calling this response object and we're gonna, this is actually the G, this is the JSON that we're actually grabbing from this URL. And lit, and right now we're actually gonna parse that into an NS dictionary and then into something readable in an NS array. So let's go ahead and continue on first. So let's say up arrow. And right here, this is basically saying if success happens with this URL here, 
then we, it'll run this code. But if failure happens, then we have an error that pops up. So say up arrow, open parentheses, AF HTTP request operation, star operation, comma ID, response object, close that up and then say open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket, and then also end that with the semicolon right there. And we will just create this in just a minute, but let's go ahead and create our JSON data. So say self.youtube JSON, and make sure it's the NS dictionary that you're calling at first and not anything else. And also you could type it in underscore YouTube JSON or array, but I just like saying self. It, it looks cleaner to me. So self.youtube JSON equals open parentheses NS dictionary and then space asterisk and then right after that close the parentheses and then say response object and then enter end that with a semicolon all right so what this is doing it's just it's grabbing whatever response object that we got from this URL and then it's creating that into an NS dictionary and now we're actually going to parse that into a readable NS array. So say self dot YouTube array equals self dot YouTube JSON. Then say open square bracket. Then say at open parentheses, close parentheses, data. And then also write down here. So it's open, open square bracket and then close square bracket. And again, you wanna say right in the middle, say at, open quotation mark, close quotation mark. And this time you wanna say items. Now this is actually grabbing specific things from inside of your response object. So this is just making sure that you're only getting the JSON data that you want. So it'd say self.youtube.json, and then again, at data at items and end it like so. So now let's actually see what our YouTube array is creating. So we want to say ns log and then right over here we want inside of that we want to say at open quotation mark close quotation mark and inside of that you want to say percent percent at and what this is doing is it's basically bypassing whatever is inside of this and then it's going to call the next thing right after that. So say self so comma self dot YouTube array and then end it with a semicolon like so first before we want to run it let's go ahead and go into our view did load right here and now we actually want to call this void which we called reload reload data so right in our view controller our view did load fi file right up here just say open square bracket self space reload data and then end it and then semicolon now when the view loads this function right here is going to be called and we will see what happened so let's go ahead build and run this and see what happens now as you can see it loaded up go to our YouTube and then right back here you will also see our JSON data so basically now we're going I'm going to show you in the next tutorial how to import this JSON data into your into your app. Right now we just have the JSON data, but next time we will parse it inside of our app. So thank you guys for watching. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure, be sure to subscribe. If you guys want to know more about me, be sure to check me out on Twitter and also check me out on my website down below. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.